growth properties. Warren Buffett has recently disappeared from the proxy statement as a 5% beneficial owner of Seritage Growth Properties. So in this video, we're gonna to try to get to the bottom of what's actually happening here. Did Warren Buffett sell his stake of Seritage or is there something else going on here? So just for some context, Monish Pabrai talked about his investment in Seritage Growth Properties in uh, this book that just came out, Richer, Wiser, Happier by William Green. And part of the story for Monish Pabrai was Warren Buffett bought this uh, at around $37 per share when Seritage was spun off back in 2015. You can see the price chart history of Seritage. Uh, this is when it spun off back in July of 2015. Uh, and right away, Buffett took, uh, he bought 2 million shares of Seritage for about a 5% stake in the business. And you can see what the price did um, kind of at the beginning of the pandemic last year. It just, it crashed hard. And Pabrai bought sometime in May when the price was maybe seven or eight dollars per share. So the price had crashed more than 80% from where Warren Buffett bought uh, about six years ago. So that was part of the investment thesis for Pabrai. Um, so what can we make from the recent filings? This is the 5% beneficial ownership as of April 1st, 2020, okay? You can see Buffett at the bottom here. 2 million shares, 5.2% of the Class A shares were held by Buffett. So if we fast forward to the next proxy statement, uh, which just came out two weeks ago. Uh, today is April 23rd. This came out on April 9th of 2021. Security ownership of 5% beneficial owners there's no Warren Buffett here, okay? We can see Pabrai here. He owns the most number of Class A shares at 11.7% of all of the Class A shares outstanding, uh, but we no longer have Buffett on the list. Um, so one thing we can do, if, if someone owns more than 5% of the shares of a company, uh, they're required to disclose when they make changes, okay? Um, so we can look at Warren Buffett's activity through the SEC, right? We just search Buffett Warren E, and we can see uh, filing statement of changes in beneficial ownership of securities. So my understanding is if Buffett sold down his position from above 5% to below 5%, he would have to file one of these uh, disclosures, these, uh, these form four through the SEC. So I went through these, there's no form that has been filed from Buffett to disclose any change in ownership with Seritage Growth Properties. Uh, we can open the most recent one in September of 2020. This was for Devita, okay? So you can see here, common stock, Here's the transaction date, uh, A or D. D means he disposed of. So he sold DeVita shares, sold two, two million of them. Uh, and after that, he was left with 36 million shares. And he has to report at what price he sold. So this is an example of a Form 4. Nothing turns up for Seritage Growth Properties uh, in terms of Form 4s for Warren Buffett. So... What are we to make of that? Why is he no longer on that 5% beneficial ownership list uh, for Seritage Growth Properties? So here's what I think is going on. Uh, if we dig into the last annual report for Seritage, uh, there's, a, there's a section here called Consolidated Statement of Equity. All right. And if we look at the beginning of 2019, through to the end of 2020, uh, there were these OP unit exchanges, okay? So with Seritage Growth Properties, 
uh, there, there are these things called operating partnership units, uh, which in large part are, are either owned by Seritage itself or owned by um, Eddie Lampert, okay? So the OP units that were exchanged from OP units into Class A shares uh, in 2019, 1.2 million of those units were converted into Class A shares. In 2020, 1.9 million were converted into Class A shares. So over those two years, um, we've got 3.1 million OP units converted to Class A shares. Now, if we add those to the Class A shares outstanding, um, just that change alone takes, if, if Warren Buffett never sold, right, if he still owns 2 million Class A shares, uh, just that addition, that 3 million addition of Class A shares through the exchange of OP units brings his uh, share ownership from 5.2% of, of the Class A shares down to 4.8%, okay? And just, just that alone makes him disappear from this list of 5% beneficial owners. And my sense is that that is what has happened here. Uh, Warren Buffett has not dropped off this list because he's selling out of SRG. He dropped off the list because you know, his ownership was diluted a bit through the conversion of these operating partnership units. Um, so I think that's what's happening. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it because I don't know for sure, uh, it, you know, how quickly he's required to disclose any change in his Seritage ownership. Um, but it, it's, it's, you know, something I noticed. It's, it's a big deal when someone like Buffett, who's, you know, on the other side of the equity, you've got Berkshire Hathaway, who owns the debt on Seritage Growth Properties. And Berkshire has been fairly lenient with Seritage uh, in terms of, you know, allowing them, allowing Seritage to not have to pay the interest, to kind of defer the interest payments on the debt uh, because of what's happened in the last year. So, you know, if Buffett disappears from the equity side of that, uh, I, I, I get a little less comfortable with, you know, the leniency of Berkshire Hathaway around the debt. So it's it's an interesting puzzle here uh, with, with these pieces. And, you know, I'd really like to see Warren Buffett still in the game on the equity side, um, at least until Seritage is a little bit uh, more stable in terms of you know, net operating income and that kind of thing. So uh, it's a story I'm watching. Again, my sense is Warren Buffett has not sold. Uh, there's just been this shifting of the OP units into Class A that have caused Buffett to drop off this list of beneficial owners. If any of you guys have more information about this or if you're seeing something different, let me know in the comments. Um, but, you know, this was brought to my attention recently. Someone reached out and said, hey, did you see Warren Buffett sold out of SRG? Uh, I don't think that's the case. I think um, it's much more likely that it was these OP unit conversion that caused him to drop off there. Uh, but again, it's an unfolding story. I'm going to be watching it. Um, and if you guys see any updates or more information on it, let me know. I'm very curious about uh, how this this unfolds here. So anyway, guys, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.